Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I want to give you a quick fire video with just two things that you can do due to the Amazon affiliate program changes and why it isn't a huge problem. It's an inconvenience, but it's not as bad as the doom and gloom. I'm also going to answer a question I got on the YouTube channel, a really good one. So I'll go through that and I'll tell you exactly what to do in this video. If you're interested in this stuff and the full Azon Rescue Plan webinar, where I guide you through exactly what to do step by step, whether you should keep your Amazon affiliate sites, what to do with them, um, other options that you've got. And I cover these two things that I'm going to cover in the video now, just touch upon and why you don't need to worry so much. Do check it out. The webinar was yesterday, but when you get access, you'll get the full recording. So all you have to do is grab it, go through the webinar and any questions you can send them to me directly and I'll answer them. Um, you'll find out exactly what to do with the commission rate cuts and why it's not so bad. Find out why any site you build is worth good money as long as you do the stuff in the webinar. Also find out affiliate program guide as well and which ones make good money with your sites and which ones to use. Comparison site and how you can still make money doing that. I've also got a way that you can make money without any affiliate programs if you're just sick of it and why you can still get your Amazon affiliate sites that are getting traffic and make really, really good money. Um, and I'll show you that. That's called the Sell Space Tutorial. That's the name I gave it, um, but I guide you through the whole process. And why you've got a huge opportunity, I'm going to touch upon it now, but do check out the webinar below um, if you're interested in that stuff as well. And, and you'll find all the details and you can get instant access. So let me go to a question I got, or more of a statement, but I'll just walk you through it. So the joys of YouTube. Um, I did a video should you still build an Amazon should you still build Amazon affiliate sites what to do now that was a couple of days ago it's a 19 minute video going through exactly what to do within uh, 30 seconds of uploading it I got this comment not knocking it but the guy obviously hadn't watched the video because it came in 30 seconds after I uploaded it Amazon no recommended affiliate again goodbye little commission no way so that's gonna happen okay that's nothing to do with the video I'm just saying that someone freaking out about the Amazon affiliate changes I don't blame them but if they watch the video they will see exactly what I suggest doing and why it's not too bad I also got a good comment from this guy called first video so thanks for your comment first video and he put some good points so I'm going to address them now he put you're right but the problem is affiliate marketing is not easy with other companies because people are tied up or mentally connected with Amazon further other companies don't have multi product line WP Eagle yesterday made a very good video on this issue check out WP Eagle I've seen his stuff just a little recommendation for him really really good stuff and uh, you know WordPress sites Amazon affiliates anything to do with WordPress well worth checking out um, last but not least Amazon did throw a bomb at their affiliates and sooner or later they will completely shut down their affiliate program due to insatiable greed they have direct huge traffic only eight percent of traffic comes from affiliates so amazon doesn't need us anymore we must move on but right now the truth is bitter that other companies are not good enough well how i'm going to answer that i'm not going to spend ages but the first thing i've actually been working online since 2002 and I've used all sorts of affiliate programs. I've used obviously Amazon, I've used Commission Junction, I've used Affiliate Window, I've used Web Gains. In fact, if you choose to join that webinar, I talk about that extensively, how I used the Historic Newspapers affiliate program of Web Gains and made really, really good money. How I built a Jessica, <laughs> this is funny, but this is the truth. I built a Jessica Simpson hair extension site that did really, really well in the search engines from Commission Junction going through to a site and they were paying on time. So as long as you get a good affiliate network and a reputable company, yes, they're not as big as Amazon. So let me just touch on that again. It is without a doubt a real pain that Amazon have dropped the commissions. But does that mean that you can't use any other affiliate program? And does that mean that you can't make money off sites that are ranking? No, it doesn't. It means you can make good money off sites that are ranking and it's given you a huge opportunity. And I'm not just clutching at strings here uh, and, and sort of keep building Amazon affiliate sites without abandon and don't do anything. I'm not recommending doing that, okay, as I cover in the webinar. But I'm actually going to tell you two ways why you don't have to worry so much and why there are good affiliate programs. 
just saying other companies are not good enough okay that's you're entitled to your opinion and that's great but I don't suggest if anyone's watching my stuff my videos I don't suggest you give up okay I've used plenty of affiliate programs um, the main thing that you want to do which brings me on to the main point of the video so I'll answer that is find other good affiliate programs and I'll give you a really quick example I walk you through this with lots of niches in the webinar look at this these are this is the two things I recommend you do go for the strength of the brand or go for the strength of the niche okay so that's worth writing down with the Amazon affiliate changes I recommend you pick your niches based on the strength of the brand or the strength of the crowd of the niche and let me explain both of them really simply so I've loaded up Dyson here Dyson have an affiliate program it took me through to the UK affiliate program but I believe they've got a US one as well and they will pay you if you refer people that are interested in buying a Dyson off of their site the reason you want to go for um, here we go how do you join sign up through affiliate window okay I talk about all these in the webinar the reason you want to go for the strength of the brand is yes people will buy Dyson's off Amazon you can still keep your affiliate links in there but if you're teamed up with Dyson the official site and people are looking for a site it they're more likely to buy from the from the main site okay so because it's actually Dyson so look at this when you're looking at affiliate programs and they pay X amount commission okay and when you go through to uber suggest and you type in Dyson there's 201,000 searches Dyson hairdresser to an uh, hairdryer sorry 201,000 Dyson air wrap 135,000 all these searches and the only thing that you're changing if you build a site around Dyson products I'm not uh, competition aside I'm just explaining the strength of the brand this is what I want you to think about not whether you can rank for Dyson products or anything like that because there's loads of examples of this and I don't want the video going on and on and give you loads of examples I'll give you some in the webinar um, but my point is this if you have a Dyson website and you built it and you put your affiliate links in off the official Dyson site you signed up to, to affiliate window and you were building SEO driven sites and you were getting ranked you'd make money okay there's 40,000 searches coming roughly off each product and even going down you've got some easier to rank key phrases that are getting a huge amount of um, a huge amount of uh, searches and low search difficulty okay so if you were a affiliate of the Dyson affiliate program go off the strength of the brand so what you should do today if you're worried about Amazon I walk you through in the webinar what to do if you've got existing Amazon sites that have taken a hit because of the commissions which they will do but I also recommend if you're starting out and you're thinking what should I do now think of top brands okay for instance here we go Nike Trainers ha has an affiliate program so there's people still shopping for that it's a, a, a top brand another one I speak about on the webinar and go into far more detail is Yeezy's Kanye West shoes Adidas um, in partnership with Adidas they have an affiliate program and also a couple of the top um, like shoe locker and so on like top online stores have an affiliate program and you've got all the 1.2 million searches for Yeezys I'm not saying go for that and it's easy to rank and all of that what I'm trying to say to you is if you go for a strong brand that people are looking for directly and you're in the affiliate program for Adidas and you send people directly to the Adidas site you're gonna make money off the site okay the other thing that I would look at is the actual affiliate network so like Commission Junction affiliate window I've used myself really reputable okay they're gonna pay the if some affiliate programs go direct um, but if you're dealing with Dyson I don't think you have a problem they actually do theirs through affiliate window so most of these companies will use these networks anyway to manage it for them so it's, it's really really simple so there's no you, you don't want to stop and just not build sites all you have to do now is instead of just looking at the strength of the product sales like, like we used to off Amazon think about top brands think about the actual brands that people are looking for another one um, this is actually a gaming brand you might know it um, really really popular Razer they do some of the best gaming 
products like keyboards and mice there we go Razer keyboard Razer keyboard and mouse and they have affiliate programs so that that that's the first thing I want to tell you go off the strength of the brand I hope that makes sense the second thing that you can do which is really really cool with all these other affiliate networks is go off the strength of the crowd and what I mean by that and I give some examples like this one here the gaming crowd okay uh, uh, the YouTube crowd people making YouTube videos podcasting crowds look at this podcasting microphone for, for the, the strength 12,100 searches so all you have to do is find an affiliate program and a brand that is really strong so what's the best podcasting microphone find that brand find the affiliate program and you've got a th those you don't have to do those two together but that's how you can get rid of the Amazon thing and and just start promoting top brands that people are looking for anyway in much the same way and it just means signing up for another affiliate program and the best thing is if you currently have Amazon sites in these niches the what you just have to change the links I walk you through so if you want help with this do check out the rescue plan below because I walk you through what to do with your Amazon sites. I don't recommend that you destroy them or just take them down or just start changing links straight away. I walk you through exactly what to do. So do check that out. Here's another one for you. So we all know the GoPro cameras, really, really popular. Good niche on Amazon or used to be. So what do you do now if you have a GoPro site or if you're thinking of building one? GoPro affiliate program okay so you don't need to worry I mean in terms of a trust factor would you trust buying a GoPro camera off the official GoPro site of course you would okay so you don't have to worry in fact it would probably be a better commission uh, a better conversion rate than sending someone through to Amazon so you you know and even if it's slightly less a lot of the time they pay more so this will pay you a 5% commission rate on every sale um, and even if it's slightly less conversion rate it means that your site's not dead and it means that you're making more money anyway and it also means that you can put all manner of affiliate links on your site as well so main things I want you to remember from this video that will help you number one think of strong brands the best way to do that is think of anything that you're promoting or thinking of promoting okay and if I said what are the top three brands coffee maker go and you'll know them you already know them or you can look them up top top free coffee brands find affiliate programs for them and then you're just swapping out your links if you're building a site okay this one's actually on Commission Junction so all you need is a Commission Junction site another thing I highly recommend and I walk you through this on the webinar bear in mind before you start applying for these affiliate programs make sure that you've got a site in the niche okay so when you apply it doesn't look like you're just want in links to paste all around social media have a site in the niche would be highly recommended the other big big thing is uh, the crowd okay again okay so uh, as an example of that the gaming crowd huge area of people really passionate about gaming and so on and they will have equipment they buy games and so on um, an example for you gaming monitors so a really simple way to find the the top brands top five gaming monitors type it into Google here we go what brands come up Samsung Alienware AOC Asus and so on okay um, and I've just looked up um, Acer I think it was Acer or Asus it was Acer A-C-E-R and uh, affiliate partner program okay so they've got them there um, Acer store offer up to 4% commission on affiliate sales um, and with an average order value of $400 that adds up quickly there you go so if you had a site with gaming monitors and you wanted to promote Acer Predator gaming monitor or something like that that gets huge amount of searches um, you, you can do so and you can promote all of these and take advantage of all these key phrases exactly the same in ranking a site and you're, you've got the brand strength of the site okay so when you're worried about well people won't buy off other stores apart from Amazon they buy off the official stores okay they're more likely to go to Acer itself to buy a monitor gaming monitor because it's the official site here we go 
and they can buy off there and you can join their affiliate program you can have a site you can make more commissions so if you've got any of these sites all you have to do in a lot of the cases is find the top brands find an alternative affiliate program or start adding content if you had a gaming site start adding content around these affiliate programs and products and and you'd make make money okay so yes it's a hit is it as bad as what people are saying no there'll be people that still profit people that still flip sites based on this but there will also be a lot of people that give up okay and that end that's where the opportunity is so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it makes sense let me know if you have any questions i'm actually going to be doing a case study of this showing this not this niche but a another affiliate program from amazon and actually building the site out and showing you that you can still make sales if you can rank a site if you can go for products that people are interested in, if you've got a reputable affiliate program and it's all above board, it doesn't really matter who's paying you, okay? Because you can still make money off of a SEO driven site to flip or to, to build up and to keep. So just a couple of things to bear in mind. Main things, go for top brands, go for really, really hungry crowds of people and put those two together. Find the top affiliate programs and don't suffer. I hope that's made sense. If you want to join us and get more, if you enjoyed this, you'll definitely enjoy the webinar. If you didn't and you don't agree with this, that's cool. You probably won't enjoy the webinar. But if you do want to check it out, it's below and you'll be able to go through the whole thing straight away. And there's some bonuses in there as well. So do check out the link below. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll speak to you really soon. Cheers, guys.